all right everyone welcome back i am back out rabbit hunting in the spot where i got those two rabbits on a previous video and i'm gonna hit the the brush piles that i did on that day i'm, I'm guessing there will be rabbits in there and hopefully i can get them on on video this time i got this chest harness i got it all kinds of crooked on my chest so hopefully when I put my gun up I can have it capturing the the rabbit running and hopefully me hitting it and not just poking holes in the air so what a beautiful day it's Sunday uh, January 16th or 17th and it's a beautiful day out the sun is finally shining a little bit it's been cloudy for almost two weeks already it's nice to have the sun out so stick around let's let's do some rabbit hunting all right let's go tally ho all right let's sit this brush pile right over here see some deer tracks there's some dandy sized tracks in here so, all right let's uh i don't see any tracks leading up to it but it doesn't mean that there's nothing in there so I'm gonna stomp on this a little bit and I maybe see some tracks some other brush piles we'll hit those and see if we can uh, connect with one I like to do a, a catch clean cook episode once I get one I want to go home clean it up and start a fire in the fire pit Alright, let's uh I don't see any tracks going into this one, but we'll give it a shot. No pun intended. Well, God dang it. <laughs> he came out in a way that I didn't expect. I was kind of hoping he'd uh, come out that way, but came out running towards me. Can't do a catch clean cook when you miss, right? I'll pick up my shells. That stinks. <laughs> like I said, hunting is uh, hit and miss, you know. <laughs> I said that in another video, so. Well, load up two more. Hopefully I don't run out. I got another box of shells in the truck, but I don't want to go through 30 rounds on three rabbits. Let's hit this one. This one's a little bit bigger. I don't know what I did. I shot and I expected to shoot a another again without ejecting a shell. I don't know why I thought this was a, um, a semi-automatic. Got him. <laughs> Hope you saw that. Oh, pick up my shell. There we 
There he is. Straighten out this camera, my phone. See him right there? I love this stuff. I know I've said it before in my last video. I love deer hunting and rabbit hunting. I just love getting out in the woods. There we go. Got one. Fire up the grill because hunting ain't catch and release, right? <laughs> I'm going to, like I did in the last video, I'm going to let them sit in the snow or up in a tree. Let them cool down some. So the fleas hop off. I'm going to put him right there, let him cool off, and I'm going to hit that another brush pile. Number two for the stew. One more and I'm all done. Ah, ah. <laughs> I missed a crow. Missed again. Ah, ah, ah. You're gonna get smart to that. <coughs> ah, ah, ah. Okay, I'm gonna give this one last try here. I walked a lot today. I'm gonna hit that brush pile right over there. And if nothing comes out, I guess it's only two rabbits for me today and not the, the bag limit. Three shots at a rabbit. That's not good. I got three shots left in the gun. I got to see where all the shells are. There's one. Huh. 
This one's not even shot. This one's been sitting in the snow a while. It must have fell out of my pocket last time I went. Now I can't find the spent shells. Darn it. I know one came out of here, the one that was just on, but I'm going to try this one. They have three shots left. Oh, well. It's the name of the game, I guess, right? Well, you can see the the pattern of the the shot. Can you see that right there? Right over there. I think that was my first shot. Yeah, because oh, I was just behind them. Here's the <laughs> the second shot. And the third, right here, missed. Widens out pretty good. And he ended up going down in here. Well, maybe, maybe I'll try this. There we go. Only have two. Missed uh, the last one, and the first one I said I missed, I just gave that one a warning shot. That wasn't really a miss, so just to give them a warning. <laughs> but uh, if you never went out rabbit hunting, get your small game license and go out. It is so much fun. It's even fun with just a single person hunting, like myself today. It's a little bit more of a challenge because you have all these fence lines. Not a lot of fence lines, but where I used to hunt out by my grandpa, there was fence lines all over. If you didn't have another guy on the other side, it made things a little bit more difficult. But when you do have a second person, it's fun. That way, if you miss it and it goes to the other side, obviously the other, the other hunter is going to have an opportunity to shoot at it so I was going to do a catch clean cook in this whole video but I, I did a lot of walking and I'm kind of I'm beat so I'm going to go home and clean these up put them in some uh, water let them soak a little while over a couple days and then I'll do another video on cooking <coughs> <coughs> what I'm going to do is, excuse me, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a fire in my fire pit and just uh, cook them over the fire like I did my venison steaks. And I'll just put a little bit of lorry seasoning salt on and that'll be done. That'll be it. Um, if you like this content on my channel here, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. It's free, no charge. And once you hit that subscribe button, you're going to get a notification with uh, three bells. Make sure you hit uh, all for more videos that I put out. And leave a comment. I really, truly like the comments of everyone. So, I don't have a beagle. It's just me. <laughs> So this is this is so much fun. Let me show you what I mean by having this as a tough area. What I have here is 
when you get stuff like this and a rabbit goes in there, there's absolutely no way of getting them out of there. They'll hole up so tight, they'll wait till evening and night to come out. That is so perfect for rabbits to hide out in. There's so many nooks and crannies. So why wouldn't you want to go in there and hide? It's perfect. There's probably so many tunnels in there. Like I said, it's it's perfect. It's a little, like this little area right here is like a hotel's, not a hotel six, but the Hilton. But yeah, there's perfect, it's perfect rabbitat, you know, habitat, rabbitat. Um, I'm going to conc conclude this video. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one and enjoy the little things.